Dear viewers, I hope you are all, all fine. This ultrasound video shows a traumatic injury to the testes resulting in intratesticular hematomas. Now the case I am presenting had intratesticular infected hematomas and ultrasound images of the testes. Now this is right testes and it is eco normal blood flow is also normal no mass cyst or foreign body is seen in the sacrotal sac now this patient was examined five weeks after the initial traumatic injury and you can see there the multiple hematomas in the left testes and you can see the the, it, the ultrasound images shows hyperechoic areas with the fluid debris level without any peripheral hyperemia. The diagnosis based on clinical symptoms that are pain and fever and ultrasound finding was an infected hematomas multiple infected hematomas. Now there is no blood flow seen in the testes. The testicular trauma is the third most common cause of acute sacrotal pain and may result in various degrees of damage to the testes. Now the high frequency ultrasonography with the linear array Transducer is modality of choice for the initial evaluation of patients with acute sacrotal pain after trauma. Testicular trauma is the third most common cause of acute sacrotal pain. Ultrasound is useful in medical and surgical management because it reliably examines tunica albuginea rupture, intra and extra testicular hematomas and testicular contusions. Color Doppler ultrasound allows direct evaluation of testicular perfusion and detection of uncommon conditions such as testicular torsion that may be associated with sacrotal trauma. As in this case, there is no blood flow seen in the testes, so testicular torsion is also a possibility after the traumatic injury. Now you can see the measurement of the testes, left testes. Now the ultrasound technique for the examination of testes, again you can see multiple hematomas. Sacrotal ultrasound is performed with the patient lying in supine position and with the sacrotum supported by towel placed between the thighs you can see the multiple hematomas these are the clotted having clotted blood debris and fluid the use of 7 to 14 megahertz high frequency linear array transducer is preferred after trauma sacrotum is often tender to touch which make the scanning difficult and uh, any attempts an attempt should be made to evaluate both testes and epididymis to identify any extra testicular collections. Now you can see the blood clots, hematomas forming mass like structures. However, these are not the masses, these are the hematomas. The testes are evaluated both in longitudinal and transverse planes. The size and ecogenicity of each testes and epididymis should be compared with those of contralateral testes and epididymis. Now the transverse sacrotal imaging to depict both the testes is extremely important allowing comparison 
to their grayscale and color Doppler appearances. The asymptomatic site should be scanned first to set grayscale and color Doppler gains to allow optimal comparison with the affected site. Color Doppler and pulse Doppler ultrasonography should be optimized to depict low-level velocities and blood flow in the testes and surrounding sacrotal structures should be documented by acquiring Doppler spectra of the intratesticular arterial flow in both the testes. Now you can see again see the multiple hematomas. Testicular rupture and testicular ischemia are in part are two severe complications which need to be ruled out. Other injuries that can occur include testicular fracture, testicular dislocation, testicular torsion, intertesticular hematomas as seen in this case, intertesticular pseudoaneurysm. Now the associated symptoms which may be seen in such cases are extra testicular injuries that is epididymis fracture, epididymitis, sacrotal wall hematoma, hematocele can also be commonly seen. There is the ultrasound appearance of a hematoma depends on the time elapsed between the occurrence of the trauma and the ultrasound evaluation. Hyperacute and acute hematomas are sometimes difficult to identify as they may appear isoechoic to the surrounding testicular parenchyma or may have a diffusely heterogeneous ecotexture. For this reason, suspected acute hematomas are re-examined with, within 12 to 14 hours. Uh, 24 hours, 12 to 24 hours after the initial ultrasound evaluation to, to allow observation of any changes in the ecogenicity. Chronic hematoma appear more hyper, hypoechoic to anechoic and tend to decrease in size as they dissolve. Color Doppler imaging helps to differentiate such hematomas from tumors which are included in the differential diagnosis of intratesticular focal lesions. You can find some important information in the description of this video. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe my channel. If you do like this video, please click the like button. Thanks. Thanks.